up y'all welcome back to another video if you're new to this channel my name is Brittany. hi <clears throat> make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all my future videos now y'all already see by the title it's another story time y'all i finally got another story time for y'all while well, i've been had another story time it just took me a minute to tell it but anyways this gonna be the time i took my my first edible so grab y'all cups and glasses and popcorn and enjoy the story time. Yeah, I don't have a, um I don't have my notebook because I'm gonna tell y'all off the back of my head because step by step I remember exactly what happened. Okay, um, but before I get into this story time, I actually want to answer some of y'all guys' questions that I didn't answer on Instagram that I saved for this video. So you guys, I like, y'all could tell I answered some of them. Some of them I did not answer. So yeah, it's not a lot this time, but I wanted to answer some of them on here for you. So here we go. I'm gonna go to the bottom and then from the bottom I'm gonna go to the top. Somebody asked me if I got a man, and I keep answering this question for y'all, like, time after time after time. So, I'm not going to answer it. What What's a goal you want to accomplish before the year is over? Um, I actually talked about this in a previous video as well. I don't like to really talk about my goals to anybody, like whether it's friends, family. I don't want to talk about my goals because I always feel like somebody is like looking down on me. And lately, the way I've been feeling, everybody got an issue with me for some reason. And that's how I've been feeling and that's how I've been looking. So I keep a lot of stuff to myself nowadays. And yeah, I'm sorry, but this is what I need to do. So yeah, next. What's my dream date? I swear to God, I keep asking me the same, same old, same old, same old. Like, <laughs> like why? And I don't even think it's the same people, so I can't even say that. It, but it's like, I could tell some of y'all really don't be watching my videos. But it's cool though. If you wanna know the answer to some of these questions, just go back and look at my videos. My questions video. Somebody asked me what's the key to my heart. Um, I don't know. That one, I, I don't know because I'm not open to anything right now. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell y'all literally like, mm, I'm sorry, but I just don't know. Um, somebody asked me, what type of outings do you like to go to? What's your favorite places to go for fun? Honestly, I like fun stuff. So like go karting, Dave and Buster's, arcades, bowling, shit, tennis, golf, um, gun range, even a rage room. Cause I would go crazy in a rage room, okay? And I've never been to one, so wink. <laughs> um, but yeah, things like that is for me. Like all the cute little days, you know, going out to eat, or if um we fuck with each other heavy, going to a lounge, going to a bar, like. Little stuff like that, going to the movies, that's calm. Like, you feel me? Like, that's like a real quick type of date. Like, probably like, I don't know. It's like a weekday or something and we want to do something fun. Like, that type. But, like, on a weekend, it'll be given, like, the fun stuff. Like, everything I just named. So, yeah, I'm one of them girls that actually like activities. Besides going out, drinking, all of that. Um... Because, like, I drink in my house. Like, I'm a wine drinker, so I, I'll get, like, a bottle of wine and drink in the house. I don't really like to go out as much as I used to or if that at all. So, so yeah, like, fun shit like that. Um, Next question, because I want to get into this story time. So, I'm going to do one more. Somebody asked me if I'm a coffee girl or a tea girl. I ain't going to lie. I'm a coffee girl to the day I die, okay? I slow down. Like, look at my case. Look at my case. Listen, it's something about coffee that's just... 
You feel me? Like, I don't get that feeling with tea. Like, I only drink tea when I'm not feeling good. Or if I'm trying to detox. But other than that, coffee is really my go-to. I'm a coffee girl, okay? Period. But anyways, we're going to get right into this story time. So, mind you, y'all, this was last year. I took my first edible last year on my daughter's party when she turned three. So, yeah, last year. Um... And this is going to be a quick story time because, like, it, it happened at the end of the party, like, when everybody was leaving and yada, yada, yada. Like, I waited until the end to really, like, get lit, blah, blah, blah. So, that was my relax, my relaxation time because I was the host. I was making sure everybody was good. Everybody was enjoying themselves. I was playing. I was the DJ. I was playing music. I was doing everything. Like, the only thing I wasn't doing was serving people food. My mom had that down pat like amen so yeah i was doing everything else um so yeah i waited till the end of the party baby as soon as i started seeing people leave that's when i started doing like sh more shots like i did a couple shots don't get me wrong because to enter this party my daughter's party you have to take a shot i don't care who you was you had to take a shot period point blank okay so yeah i took a shot um with my sister-in-law my brother because, you know, they wanted me to take a shot with I'm not turning down no shot. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, um, took a shot. Took a couple shots, whatever the case is. But then I, like, I was cooling. You feel me? Like, I was feeling, um, like, I don't want to say, like, tipsy because I really wasn't. But, like, nice, I guess. I don't know. Like, this, you know, I'm well aware, very alert, still hosting, still DJing, still making sure everybody's good being a waiter because i was bringing out shots in like one of those one of those things that you carry and chips and all that so and this is why i waited to the end of the party so i realized people was leaving right and then i think it was like a few people here and then me and my sister um we was in a room it was me, my sister, I think my sister-in-law, um, one of my friends, and I believe that said that was in my room. So the door is closed. Like people, a few people are still here, and my daughter's Gucci. Like if you asking where's my daughter, she was good. She was with my mother. Okay, she was still having fun. So um, we was in the back door closed my sister brought out edibles it was these gummies these gummy eddie uh, eddie <laughs> edibles and um yeah they like 50 no they was 500 ng if i'm not mistaken so that was my first time and i i think that was her first time or i don't know i'm not sure don't quote me because i really don't know so i'm gonna just say her first time my first time so yeah, she opened the pack and then we took like a whole, a whole thing. We said, fuck it, we're gonna take the whole thing. If anything happened, we together, okay, period. So we cheers that motherfucker and ate it. So, you know, we, I'm, I'm like lit at this point because like, like I said, I waited to the end for everything. So I was, after I seen people like leaving and blah, blah, blah. I started drinking more and mixing drinks and all types of stuff because now is my time. Now I'm about to get lit. So I was already lit before we took that edible, okay? So yeah, keep that in mind. Like I'm not sober, no none of that. So we took the edibles, right? We took the edibles and like I didn't feel nothing like at first, I didn't feel nothing. Like, I know you gotta wait like a certain amount of time for it to kick in. So I was like, I guess I expected to feel it because I was already lit. So I thought it worked different when you lit. So I was like, okay, I don't feel nothing. So I'm good. Got up, went to check on whoever, everybody left, except for my friend. Only person that was left was my friend. And me and my sister was in the living room now. And my daughter was. My daughter was, this is when everybody left except for my friend. And my daughter was put down to sleep already. 
That's the only part I don't remember who put her down to sleep. I think I did, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, but for this sake, I'm gonna just say I did, okay? But um, she was already asleep by the time like the edible kicked in and all of that, so thank God for that. Um, but yeah, so me and my sister was in the sleep room. The TV was on. We was giggling. That's how we both looked at each other because how much we was laughing at videos on YouTube. We was dying. Like, I mean, like, the littlest shit. We was dying. Like, full-blown hitting each... Yo! Like, full-blown laughing. And we... Yo, it was at one point we stopped and we looked at each other. We was like... You feel that shit? <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. But it's so black. I feel it worse because like I'm now at this point I'm drunk and I'm hot at the same time. So crossfaded. I'm crossfaded. So like I'm like, oh man, this shit about to be done. Like I'm about to be done. Like we gonna have to pack this up, run it up, do something. Like I don't know. Like I can't just sit here because I'm about to be stuck. Like. And look at this though, look at this. We both thought, I mean, the TV is fake loud. We both thought we heard my daughter like cry or whine or something. We both was looking at each other for like, I kid you not, for like three minutes. It was like, like you hear that? Yo, if you if you ever got that high to the point where and you see my face and you see the facial expressions I'm making, then you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. We was looking at each other like And then when we got up math <laughs> My job, my job, my job, it's a man dark back there. Like first of all, I'm scared of the dark. Ain't no shame in my game, I'm scared of the dark, so that's number one. So it's pitch black. Like, niggas ain't turn the TV on, no nothing. They put nothing on the TV. Like, no, nothing, nothing. It's pitch black. Like, no street lights outside. Black. Darkway alley. Black. Okay? It's that dark back there in that room. So, like, we opened the door because the door was, like, shut a little bit. So we opened the door. We peek in there and we see. Cause it was like a little bit of light in the hallway, so like we open the door, we see it, we see her. She's knocked out, fully bone knocked out. We in the room at this point. I don't know who closed that door. One of us made a mistake and closed the door behind us, and now we, <laughs> now we both high as shit, in the dark, and stuck, and stuck. If you, like I said, if you a smoker, you know exactly the stuck I'm talking about. And we standing up, okay? We're standing up, mind you. Keep in mind, I'm cross-faded. Not only high, I'm drunk as well. So, we just in the room, standing, like... really like i can't move yo we really was telling each other i can't move i can't move either <laughs> yo that had to be the most funniest craziest shit ever like and i'm a, i'm scared of the dark like i said so i'm scared i'm stuck crossfaded bro that was the crazy i don't know i don't remember what happened after that i believe like we we got unstuck <laughs> and came back. And then I don't remember what happened after. I remember seeing my friend um, deal with the cake and all of that stuff. And boy, I really don't remember. I don't even know when I fell asleep, how I fell asleep. I don't even remember how I got in PJs, okay? I don't. Because I woke up the next day and I was in pajamas. And I last time I remembered, I was in a cute little outfit. <laughs> for my daughter's birthday party <laughs> so so yeah y'all but the craziest thing about it is the next day i woke up good like i didn't have no hangover no issues no nothing like i woke up like i ain't even do shit last night and that was the best part because boy you would have thought 
I would have had a hangover. At least. And a bad one at that. But I woke up good. I woke up happy. My daughter was opening her presents and I was happy for her because she was happy. Listen, he had a good we had a good time the next morning, I'll tell you that. So yeah, that's my first time taking an edible. That that was it was a ride. It was a ride. But I think I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I'm happy I did it when I wasn't sober because I feel like I wouldn't be able to take that if I was sober because I'm not a smoker. That's my first time taking an edible. So I feel like being lit before the edible actually helped. I'm not gonna lie. Even though we still was stuck on stupid. But hey, I didn't die. So that that's all that matters. I didn't end up in the hospital like the first time I ever smoked. So it was a win. It was a win. It was a win. Mm hmm But yeah, y'all. That's the story time. I hope y'all found it funny because I ain't gonna lie. If I could just put y'all in my head and y'all could see like the whole shit playing out, y'all will be rolling. I promise you. Y'all will be rolling on the floor. Because the way I was picturing it just now telling the story, brother, I would do it again. Not gonna lie. Something like that. Yeah. But, um,. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the end of this video. I hope you guys stayed to the end because I know I did the questions in the beginning. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and very much enjoyed this story time. And they will be more. I have another one actually coming up right after this video. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I see you guys in the next video. Bye.